Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you guys doing out there? This is Desmond the Rideshare Whisperer coming with a brand new video for the day, guys, to help you guys have success when you're out here doing Uber and or Lyft, guys. Today's topic I want to talk about is something that you really need to pay keen attention to just because of the fact if you don't, <laughs> you can be deactivated by this. So, guys, what I'm talking about here is I am talking about unaccompanied minors guys driving people under the age of 18 without having a parent in the car this is one of the things that a lot of drivers i see they neglect to realize that you cannot do you cannot take someone's child put them in your vehicle and drive them to their destination without having an adult in the vehicle with them and i know i understand a lot of parents they will request trips for their kids to get to school because they don't take the time to read the terms and conditions of the policy um, of the agreement of the Raji agreements out there but guys it is actually against the law for you to drive underage kids under age under the age of 18 people unaccompanied minors without an adult to anywhere guys so you're not only you you looking at being legally you looking at being legally liable for somebody in the event that you guys get into an accident in the event if that person decides to make a false um, false claim on you saying that you sexually harassed them touched them inappropriately you leave yourself into a whole multitude of problems by allowing someone's child to get in your vehicle without an adult there with you guys so the best practice to this policy is don't ever do it i don't care how good the trip may look uh, considering the fact that maybe if you're doing Uber and you're an Uber Pro and, and the request says, okay, pick this person up um, and it's going to be a 30 minute trip, which can mean that it can be anywhere between uh, 15 miles to actually 30 miles, according if you're on the interstate or going through the city. And it looks like, okay, I'm going to get a nice chunk of change on here. But then you pull up and here comes this little kid bopping out of the door with a backpack on or as a teenager that comes out with a backpack with a little cell phone or his cell phone and he's all listening to his Instagram or whatever else and then goes to hop in your car and you're like, man, if I cancel, I'm gonna miss this money. Trust me, it is not worth it. The legal ramifications behind it is not worth it. Do not do it because if, like I said, if you get into a car accident or if this person lies on you just so they can kind of get their money back or whatever else, you are deactivated. Your money is cut off, guys. It is not worth it now. So here's the thing. So people would ask, well, Desmond, as the ride share whisperer, what are you supposed to do in that event? Well, guess what, guys? I have the perfect solution for that problem, guys, because it happens to me, too. I have people. I pull up the people homes and this kid comes out and wants to get in my car. I actually had a situation one time on Lyft where I actually had this lady sitting in her door. And she has three kids come out, right? None of them look like they over the age of 10 years old. And they call themselves trying to get into my car. So, how do you protect yourself against this problem? First and foremost, when you pull up to a, when you pull up to a location, and this doesn't matter whether on any trip, when you pull up to a location, guys, you never unlock your doors. Right the back so somebody, so somebody can just open the door on your vehicle. You don't do that. I always keep my car in park. I mean, I always keep my car in reverse or drive so my doors are locked. They can pull on the door. They can't just open the door. But when I see somebody's coming up and I and I immediately can recognize, that, okay, this person looks like my 14-year-old son at <laughs> the age of them. First thing I do is I wind the window and say, hey, um, so what grade are you in? And then they wrap and it kind of throws them off and they say, oh, I'm in the 10th grade. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. Um, I can't give you a ride. Why? Because it is against the law for Lyft and Uber drivers to ride unaccompanied minors. Now, if you have a parent inside the home or somebody that's an adult that can ride, that's going to go with you and they're going to do like a round trip and come back, that's completely fine. But I cannot give you a ride as an unaccompanied minor. Okay, that's the law. I can't do it. And of course, they come back and say to you, well, I've never had that problem before. Yeah, I understand that you probably haven't had that, law, that problem before, but it's against the law. I cannot do it. Okay, next thing you can do, um, if you have somebody coming up to the car, 
Uh, you can either if you don't want to ask the grade, you can hey, you know, they when they get to the car, why the well, hey, hey, how old are you? <laughs> and just laugh a little bit, you know. That kind of throws them off also, it kind of drops their guard. Oh, I'm 16 years old. I'm sorry, I can't give you a ride because you're under the age of 18. The law states that we cannot give trips, we cannot drive anybody under the age of 18 without an accompanied adult. So unaccompanied minors, we is against the law for us to give them a ride. And guys, I've used I've utilized those two methods and I have been able to kind of uh, shake move ever being in that situation of having a unaccompanied minor in my minor in my vehicle guys so this is what this is exactly what you should do guys if you want to avoid that legal ramification and then at minimum being deactivated and you have your money cut off guys now so now the next question is well i drove all the way over here to pick this person up and you know if i cancel before the cancellation then i'm not gonna get my cancellation fee well, listen, guys, this is what you do. It's nine times out of ten when you get there, they're going to take a little while to come out the house anyway. So you're already in your time clock. Then when they get to the car, you ask them the question. And then you tell them, well, hey, you know, um, if you got a parent or whatever. That's still running on the time clock and you picking them up. Well, if they go in the house and they can't bring anybody up and your time runs into five minutes and they don't come up with somebody, you can cancel, collect your five and drive. All right. Next thing, if they, you know, if you're in that situation and they come immediately right out, what you can always do also is turn, if it's, a, if it's on Uber, turn your Lyft app. Then that way, if you get a trip request in, and then if you cancel it, at least you're off going to pick the next person up. Yeah, it sucks because you got to pick that person up, but you're still making money. And then worst case scenario, guys, they get right outside and you let them know the situation. And they and they want to go back and forth for you. That's even great because now they're killing it. The, they're just running the time clock up for you to get that five minutes, guys. And that's what you do. You cancel on Uber. And it says on that unaccompanied minor. You click yes on that. You click on the unaccompanied minor and you cancel the trip and you you collect your fee. On Lyft, they don't have that. You just click other reason. You collect your cancellation fee and you move on to your next destination, guys. Because what you don't want to do. Just put that child in your car and all hell breaks loose on you and you're at fault. So guys, I hope this video reaches you in good health and it helps you have more success out here doing Uber and Lyft, guys. And if you did like this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Go ahead and press the subscribe button on my channel so you can make sure that you get my video content. Also, be sure to click on the bell in the bottom right corner of this video. Then that way, when I do put out new content, guys, you get it right in your email inbox. Anyhow, guys, this is Desmond, the Rideshare Whisperer. I'm out to next time. Peace and go get your money.